Hello, just wanted to show you how you can run Windows on an old BlackBerry Playbook tablet. Well, it's not that old, but it's now 20 years since Windows 95. And through the magic of emulation, we're going to use DOSBox, which is available on Android and I believe several other systems. And here's what you type, okay? I have a Windows image there. So I'm going to type image mount A and my Windows image happens to be called W95.IMG oops I M G okay and now we're going to boot W95 dot IMG and here it goes yep it's starting Windows 95 there it is now we're gonna wait a few minutes because it does take a while it's not perfect but it will load and it's amazing to see the thing in action 20 years later it will run and it's functional to some extent uh, but DOSBox allows you to run quite a number of uh, so of uh, DOS software that's available and it's quite practical to use now we're just going to wait a little longer it's uh, loading everything into RAM as you can see you do have a mouse driver available okay I can move a mouse around there are controls for the mouse pad and arrows as well and along the top of the screen here you can see function keys and there's a number of other things here okay so this is Windows as you can see it is trying to analyze and check the drive so here it is loading and that is indeed an actual uh, it's running Windows 95 within DOSBox. This is not uh, some kind of a movie or script capture or any kind of uh, remote login at all. It actually is running it on the actual playbook. So, okay, here it is. It's uh, just going through. You can see the mouse changed to the hourglass. And here we are. Now, unfortunately, uh, DOS box, at least this particular one that I'm using, I, I, um, within the actual software, I cannot easily uh, remove or delete or blank out these little squares. Um, so they're kind of overlaying some of my, uh, my screen here, but that's okay. So let's zoom in. You can see the start menu. So way back in Windows 95, start menu. Okay, let's run a program. What do we have here? We have, let's go to accessories. Okay, and run notepad. Here we go. There's notepad. You can click there. And let's bring up our menu, or our keyboard, I mean. And we'll type hello world. And there it is. Oh, our exclamation mark doesn't work. Okay. At least not with the keyboard here. So if I want to change the keyboard, the uh, screen, I can uh, double click. And I believe there's a button here I can use right button see uh, RMB right mouse button I can click that and I should be able to drag but I guess not left mouse button oh there we go see I hold down the left mouse button and I can resize the window okay we can go back down to the start menu and I can run let's see what other programs do we have look at that back in the day when AOL was actually dominating the internet. Look at that. All right, imaging. Whoops, I don't know what I just ran, 
but something's happening here. Let me go back to programs. Oh, what is this? I have no idea. But it's uh, make new connection, networking. Okay, I don't really want this. Let's exit out of it. Okay, cancel. There we go. I don't. I really don't think it's it'll gonna it's gonna function. But uh, you know, there's some other little things in here. Now you can, uh, if you have access to the image, and you can actually go in uh, on a modern computer and essentially add your own uh, Windows programs. So if you have some old Windows programs you want to use, uh, you know, you're basically running Windows. So you can add whatever you want. You know, here I have uh, under games. I can play solitaire okay so it should load up any moment now and there it is okay so you can uh, you should be able to move things around now I think it just froze on me to be honest I'm not sure what's going on here but I just wanted to show you that you can indeed run Windows 95 on a Blackberry playbook tablet using DOSBox. It's possible, not exactly quick or easy, but it's uh, fun, especially for those of you who like to to feel nostalgic and want to try Windows 95 again. You're able to play around with it using a small image of a drive that has Windows on it. Um, just load it up into DOSBox, mount it, and run it, and, uh, and you can have some fun. Thank you again. Hope you like this little demo.